How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome back to our Pokemon Sapphire. Whoa! Did I just say Sapphire? Welcome back to our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Looks like I'm still stuck in the past. Anyways, welcome back to our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. In the last episode, we got here to Little Root Town and we also got our starter being Levi the Trico, which I completely forgot to take out its stats and its nature. Uh, looks like it's a naive nature, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Decreasing special defense for speed. Yeah, naive nature. Awesome. Uh, I'm not too upset about that because Trico's gonna be even faster than it already is, and he's not even that defensive as he is, so I'm not really mad about that. Naive actually works for me. And in today's episode, I really don't know what we're gonna do. I think in the last episode, we were supposed to go take on May out on Route 103, so I guess today we're gonna go ahead and do just that. I'm still impressed how Game Freak managed to make these games look. These games look amazing. And I know X and Y just came out last year, but you guys have to put this into perspective. We have not played Ruby and Sapphire since 2003. That's 11 years ago. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really impressed. I'm easy to impress you guys. And this game is just beautiful. I'm pretty sure you guys can agree. I'm telling you guys, the 10-year-old inside of me has finally been released. And I'm just, I'm just gonna gush here. I'm just gonna gush. But here we have a Wurmple, which I believe is our first encounter. Now, I can be mistaken, but I know I'm not. So, we're gonna take off this Wurmple here. If only Trico was a little better in the physical attack. Oh, we got a critical hit. Never mind, Trico. Way to shut me up. <laughs> Level 6 already. Do we get a new move? We do not get a new move. Which is perfectly okay with me. Alright, what, what do you have to say? If your Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Oldale Town right close by. Thank you, kid. I appreciate that. Little kid's giving us advice. Who would have thought? Wait, are you? You might be. Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer. Am I right? Okay, uh, no, you are not right. Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Something tells me this is a little brother of the owner of the Pokemon over on Moss Deep. If you guys put the demo, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. I'd like to have these as a part of a special promotion. And we obtain potions. Gee, I should have pre-ordered the game. Uh, not the game, but the, uh, the combo pack. That comes with both Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Uh, because we would have gotten 200 potions. Such a ripoff. Such a ripoff. Europe gets a steelbook cover. I don't know what Japan gets, but I know they don't get 200 potions. Like, that's not worth it at all, in my opinion. I don't know. Something tells me you are the brother of the guy over at Mazati. Potions can be used at any time, so they can be very useful to have. I agree. What do you got? I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. Of course you are. Breaking the fourth wall. Breaking that fourth wall. Uh, let's go inside this house. Again, I find it so strange. I know it's been... Pretty much a common thing in Pokemon games, but I just find it weird how you get to go inside buildings without knocking or asking for permission. I don't know. When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the top left of the list goes out first. Try stitching around the order for your Pokemon are in according to the situation. It could give you an advantage. Thank you! Because I haven't played Pokemon my entire life, right? <laughs> I've just discovered a set of incredibly rare Pokemon prints. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Alright, Tracy. Calm down there, buddy. And here we go. This house is the only one missing. What do you got for us? Pokemon grow stronger by battling and leveling up. Thank you for that advice. I appreciate it. The stronger your Pokemon become, the farther you'll be able to travel. Again, stuff we already know. It's kind of redundant. But of course, it's just uh, in case you're new to the whole Pokemon thing. They're telling you what this world is all about. Route 103. I'm starting to think that we should have grinded up a little bit before fighting May. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry, I ignored you. Press the circle pad slowly to sneak close to Pokemon. Pokemon are less likely to find you while you're sneaking up on them. The book Professor Birch wrote, The Fieldwork 101 said so. Of course, everything that Professor says is obviously factual. How's it going, May? How's it going? I just love the visuals, you guys. I'm gonna gush again. <laughs> Let's see, on Route 103, I found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one too. Oh, hey, Jerry. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? 
Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick, quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Let's do this, Mei. People have been telling me that Brendan, if you pick Mei, is actually a little sexist. Not sure what that's about. This intro scene. Oh my word. Again, Nintendo Game Freak, you have truly outdone yourself. Alright, we are a little beat up, but that's okay. Let's go for a pound. Oh wait, don't you have Ember? I think Torchic might actually have Ember. You get a critical hit right off the bat. Oh my word. I think this thing has Ember. If we have Pound, I mean not Pound, Absorb, then this thing has to have Ember. Okay, I'm not taking any chances here. I don't want to lose my first Pokemon in the first battle of the Let's Play. That would be kind of embarrassing. It appears this thing does not have Ember. No, don't go back to the bag. Let's go for a pound. As Absorb won't do anything. Can't we get a critical? I should have gone for Leer. You know, weaken that Torchic's defenses. Oh well. Alright, one more pound should do the trick. I guess I was wrong. This Torchic doesn't appear to have Ember, which is good for us, obviously. It's kind of unfair for her. Oh well. Down goes Torchic, and I'm assuming we're going to get a level, right? 66 experience points, and we are level 7. I hate where I live because whenever I decide to record, everyone is noisy. But when I'm not recording, it's dead quiet. So if you guys hear any noises outside other than my voice, well, my voice is kind of annoying. Other than my voice, guys, I do apologize for that. Your team's health was restored. Wow, I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably be friend any kind of Pokemon you meet. That's the idea. Whew. I guess I'd better, I'd, I'd better head back to the lab. I can't read. I don't know why. I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm super hyped up for the game. Uh, let's actually go over here because I don't want to run into any Pokemon right now. And I'm going to take this chance since we're right next to Old Dale Town to heal up instead of using a potion. Because potions I can use anywhere. And they are obviously worth some money, whereas Pokemon Centers are free, so. Let's actually talk to the people here. Oh, wow, that's so cool. There was a streak on the screen over there. What do you got to say? You look kind of suspicious. That PC on the corner there is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. The AHA Pokemon Journal on the shelf provides info that's different from other sources. It's different, true fact, according to me. Sure thing, buddy. Just as with people, there are male and female Pokemon, but the details on the differences can't be tough can't be tough to nail down. Pokemon centers are great! You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all for free. You never have to worry. Huh, thanks, kid. I appreciate that piece of advice. Very, very informative. Jerry, over here! Let's hurry back to Little Root. Wait for me, May. I'm fat. You have to keep in mind. Little root town. All right, I guess we got to go back to Professor Bird's lab here. Don't know what this is gonna be about. Oh, Jerry, over here. Wow, you have a ginormous head. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Jerry, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Thank you, Professor Birch. I appreciate that, buddy. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically rec makes record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why she comes to seek me out whenever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it if... Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Uh, I'm getting the itch to get out and do fieldwork again. Oh wow, Jerry, now you've got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch wild Pokemon. Look at her smiling. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will grow stronger for you. 
for you. For you, for you. <laughs> Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. Wow, okay. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Tune myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Jerry. Sure thing, man. Sounds like a pan. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm a lot more experienced than you are. After all, I am the protagonist of the game. Should we go say hi to our mom or something? I don't know. I feel like I have to do that. Hey, mom. What's up? It's all well and good to want to... Uh, I can't read. It's all well and good to want to go... It's all well and good to want to adventure with your Pokemon, but kids should at least stop by home from time to time. You should drop by to reassure your mother that you're fine. I'm sure your mother worries about you as well, Jerry. Wait, this is not our house? Oh, right. That's not our house. This is our house. <laughs> you feeling okay, Jerry? You look a little tired. I think you should rest for a bit. Mom, I have to tell you something really hard. It's hard to get off my chest, but I'm leaving home. Home? I'm leaving home. I'm going on an adventure with the mythical creature, and I hope you let me. Jerry, wait! Hey, what's up, Mom? Jerry, Jerry, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Yes, I did. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your father's child, all right? Why are people saying this? Yes, I get that. That's how biology works, I think, right? You look good together with the Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't put yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> kind of sad now, guys. <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'll miss you. And don't worry. I will wash my underwear. I won't go commando for two weeks. I mean, what? I never did that before. Jerry! More interruptions! Great! This is for my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Pokenav Plus has been updated. The Dexnav function has been added to your Pokenav Plus. The app I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called a Dexnav. It can tell you lots about Pokemon living in each area, that, that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Alright, guess it's about time I use a Dexnav to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Jerry, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. Alright, man. Gotcha. All right, let's see. Better be something good. I don't want a Wurmple or anything like that. I don't want a Wurmple. I guess I kind of jinxed myself. All right, let's see how much a pound is going to do. We are level 7, and this thing is level 2, and I do want some experience, so let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Oh, okay. That is pretty good damage, I'm not going to lie. And this pound should knock it out. Here we go. Nice. Good job, Trico. Good job. I already talked to you. Oh, more interruptions. Great. Oh, wait. Another interruption before an interruption. A Zigzagoon. I'm not really a big fan of Zigzagoon. So I'm going to skip out on this. I kind of have a team in mind. But I'm pretty sure that along our journey, some Pokemon might sway my judgment. Jerry, over here. See that right there? That's a stealth tick. Oh. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Hmm. And look here. If you check your Dex Nav. Alright. It looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move too. Does it? Jerry. May. Try getting closer real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in the book. I <laughs> okay. You're almost there. Slowly, slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Hold on, apparently, we can look on our deck snap here, and it has, like, some sort of secret move. Try moving slowly, okay. What do I do now? Level 5, okay. How do I know what... What? That's weird. It doesn't tell me what moves it knows. Is that not a function of this, uh... Deck snap thing? It's kind of a shame. Or do I just not know how to use it properly? Probably the latter. Alright, Puchiana, you will be mine. I don't want to knock it out, though. I want to know what secret move it has. Again, guys, I have not spoiled anything regarding Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire for myself because 
I want to experience it along with you guys. So that's why I kind of seem a little oblivious to sort of these to these things. All right, you look weak enough to catch, so we're gonna do just that. All right. Hopefully we catch it. Now I don't know what to nickname this thing. I think I have a pretty good nickname. This is going to be in reference and um, I guess you can say also paying homage to a YouTuber's dog that I uh, that has recently passed away. We've encountered two Puchianas. Puchiana is an omnivore. It will eat anything. A distinguishing feature is how large its fangs are compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to imitate its foes by making the hair on its tail bristle out. Interesting. It is a female though, but I don't care. I'm gonna pay homage to Game Boy Luke's dog named Rolo. Now I hope I'm spelling this correctly. I don't know if this is how he spelled it, but I'm assuming it's correct. I hope I spelled it right. Alright, and what move does this thing know? Apparently he knows a secret move of some sort. Thunderfang! Well, that's a pretty good surprise. And we have a Jolly Puchiana? Okay, we have just added a Puchiana to our team, you guys. A Jolly Puchiana. That is amazing. Wow, I'm very excited. Okay, so let's go heal up our Pokemon. And I think this is actually a pretty good place to stop. Yeah, we're going to stop after we heal up our Pokemon. Sounds about right. So I guess in the next episode, we'll, he we'll head over to Petalburg City. Wow. I'm really excited about that Puchiana. Oh my lord. Alright guys, this is going to wrap up part 2 of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to click a like down below. Likes are very much appreciated. And if you're new to my channel and want to see more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, then please don't forget to subscribe. Anyways you guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jerry, and until next time, stay awesome.